Let's do this. What's up, YouTube? It's K.M. back with another video. And I actually recorded this video fully all the way until the NBA Finals. And tragedy happened. And I'm going to be really doing this video. This is my 2021 NBA Playoff Predictions. As you can see, the matchups here. Game 1 of the Clippers vs. Dallas Mavericks. Denver vs. Portland is currently happening. Um, Philadelphia vs. No, not Philadelphia. Milwaukee vs. Miami. And Brooklyn vs. Boston just happened. But nevertheless, it's only Game 1. Anything could happen in the series. But let's get straight into our playoff predictions. First round, the Utah Jazz number one seed versus the eighth seeded Memphis Grizzlies. Um, Donovan Mitchell is going to be coming off an injury, and we don't know how he's going to play off of the knee injury, and it's not really convenient coming off an injury, going straight to the toxic, or well not toxic, but crazy crowded. Um, Playoff versus the Memphis Grizzlies. Memphis Grizzlies are going to be coming off back-to-back -back wins versus the Golden State Warriors and the San Antonio Spurs. Two very close games. They're hot. Utah Jazz. Utah Jazz, number one seeded. They're going to have home court advantage. Donovan Mitchell is going to get the flow of the, like, Late in the series, the second round, and get fully healthy. But I have Utah Jazz winning in five games. Now, the Los Angeles Clippers versus the Dallas Mavericks. Game one just finished, and the Dallas Mavericks winning by 10 points, 113 to 103. Luka had a 30-point triple-double. Kristaps didn't play... Um, didn't play all star level the best, but they still managed to get the victory. Um, this is the first round matchup from last year. Ex no, it was two and seven, four and five. Um, well, exactly the same series as last year. I feel that's going to be much more closer, and Paul George is going to have to prove himself before we jump to conclusions, and we're going to have to see how it all plays out, all pans out. But I have Lakers. Um, no, I have Clippers. <laughs> Almost said Lakers. I have Clippers winning in the closest seven-game series. The second closest second game series because the Denver Nuggets versus the Portland Trailblazers will be, in my opinion, the best, the best first round matchup of the entire 2021 NBA playoffs. Um, Denver is going to be rematching Portland from about two years ago. Last year, Portland was the eighth seed. And the Denver Nuggets, I'm pretty sure, was the eighth, no, the three seed. So, let's see. This is going to be the Clash Series. Yusuf Nurkic and Carmelo Anthony are going to be playing against their former teams. And when Yusuf Nurkic got traded the Portland Trailblazers, he quote unquote said he immediately went on his calendar, looked the next time versus Portland, and pointed that out. So, he is really mad about that trade. Carmelo Anthony is going to be um, versus his former team. And Nicole Yoke is going to be wearing his number from back in the day, number 15. And I was wondering if, because Carmelo Anthony is obviously going to retire. And he's going to retire his number. But Jokic is probably also going to retire his number. And he's probably going to retire as a nugget. So can they retire this one? We're going to have to do, like, who's, like, who's. Like, I must explain it. Like, one person can only retire their number, and or they can but share or judge retirement. Never know. Um, in that case, I have Denver Nuggets winning in seven games, the closest seven game series in the entire first round. Now, the Lakers versus the Phoenix Suns. The last time they versed the Phoenix Suns was out with LeBron James, but they did easy work, winning by, I think, about 
10 plus points. Anthony Davis posting 42 points. Absolutely dominating. Like dominating, nating. Um, height difference. Lakers have a huge height difference. Dennis Schroeder's told in CP3. Um, KCP and Devin Book are the same height. LeBron is bigger and stronger than Mikel Bridges. So is Anthony Davis versus Dre Crowder. It's going to be the biggest mismatch, mismatch of the series. And DeAndre Ayton versus Andre Drummond. And LeBron joined the Lakers. A uh, hop. They won the last six games, including the play-in tournament against the Golden State Warriors. Um, the Lakers, Phoenix Suns were kind of rickety rackety um, towards the end of the season. Um, LeBron James got poked in the eye. The game winner, this guy was seeing three rims and still made that shot. Um, we have Lakers in six. Let's go to the Eastern Conference bracket. The Brooklyn Nets versus Boston Celtics, the two and seventh seed. Um, game one just just finished about ten minutes to fifteen minutes ago. In Brooklyn, winning it it looked like a it it wasn't a blowout, but all the highlights, the Brooklyn Nets were having fun. They won by I think about fifteen points, ten to fifteen points. Brooklyn winning. There's no Jalen Brown in the series. Um, Kemba, um, I t- watching uh, watch ca- some highlights. Couldn't see him on the floor. I don't think he was playing. Maybe he was. I don't know. But I feel like Jason Tatum and Kemba might get one, just one game, one game. So I got Brooklyn Nets in five. Now I'm gonna go all the way to the top of the bracket. Philadelphia 76ers versus the Washington Wizards. Washington coming off a, a big blowout versus Indiana. And um, previously losing by a big blowout by the Boston Celtics. Two blowout games going their way and not their way. Um, Philadelphia, number one seed in the entire Eastern Conference. I'm going to say the NBA, but no, because the Utah Jazz. But the Philadelphia 76ers have Philadelphia in five games because they just have a better defense. Speaking of defense, New York Knicks versus the Atlanta Hawks, two relatively young teams, unexperienced. Trey Young's first playoff appearance, Julius Randle's first playoff appearance. Um, well, they both have, they're both young, on experience, Tom Thibodeau, experience, so is Nate McMillan, the Atlanta Interman coach, Interman, whatever. Um, but defense wins championships. I'm not saying the New York Knicks will win the championship. I mean, against Atlanta Hawks, they have a top. They have a top defense in the entire NBA, and the Atlanta Hawks are just not top tier defensively, except for Clint Capella, and that's why I have New York Knicks winning in six games. Miami Heat versus the Milwaukee Bucks. This is going to be another close seven game series, as the Milwaukee Bucks won an OT and only two points as Chris Middleton got in the game winning shot. I feel like the Mil- Miami. I just Built to beat the Bucks, Jimmy Butler, Duncan Robinson, Tyler Hero, Trevor Ariza, the whole squad. I don't think Phil, um, Victor Oladipo will be playing with that injury still. Um, Giannis wasn't really uh, being regular season Giannis going in the paint and dunking on everybody. This is the postseason. The Knockers are not going to let Giannis get into the paint. So I have Miami Heat in seven games. I'm going to say on the Eastern bracket, let's go up to the Philadelphia 76ers versus the New York Knicks. And it's going to be another series where Philadelphia is just better defensively, better offensively. They have a defensive player of the year candidate in Ben Simmons and another top-tier defensive player in Joel Embiid. Um, Doc Rivers, a top-tier coach. We have all of this... 
New York will pull off one game, but I have Philadelphia in five. The Philadelphia going to be 76ers are going to be the next Lakers. Lakers in five. Now it's going to be Philly in five. And the Brooklyn Nets versus the Miami Heat. The Miami Heat going that one game, I'm pretty sure, with the game win of Bam at a bio, um in the middle of the season. Miami Heat. I don't think I really... Well, the Brooklyn Nets, they have KD, Kyrie, and James Harden, three superstars. And I feel like the Miami Heat just are just not ready for the Brooklyn Nets. That's why I have Brooklyn Nets winning in five games. I feel like the Miami Heat can pull off one game, but I don't think that one game will do anything in the series. It might be like a... Game five or no game four win something like that or game one win you can never know anything can happen. Now we go to the Western Conference semifinals: the Los Angeles Clippers versus the Denver Chicken. I mean the Denver Nuggets, and I feel like height wise, um, um, height wise. Sorry about that. Height wise, this is a really even matchup height wise. But I feel like this series is going to really show that they miss Jamal Murray, um, Michael Porter Jr., and Nikola Jokic versus AD LeBron James, Andre Drummond, Dennis Schroeder, and company. I feel like they just, they just, like, is there a semifinal? No, this is a rematch from last year. Like, he's doing easy work last year. I feel like there's not going to be another easy work. But the Lakers will win in five. Now, the Utah Jazz versus the Los Angeles Clippers. I feel like Donovan Mitchell is going to start to get into the flow after game one of this series of the environment. How Well, he's already been in the playoffs. I mean, getting off injury. Um, Clippers. This is all depending on how good, how well Paul George plays. And if the if Kawhi can play like 2019 Kawhi, game one didn't really show a 40 point game, but a 20 a 26 point game is still beautiful, marvelous. Um, but I have the Los Angeles Clippers winning in six games. It's just the Los Angeles Clippers close season series this year. I feel like the Los Angeles Clippers are just like. Utah Jazz, they live and die by the three. They have the, they I think they broke the record for the most threes ever on a team. Well, the Los Angeles Clippers percentage wise are better, but it's back and forth. I have the Clippers winning in six games. Now this is two amazing top tier Western Conference Finals. Top two teams in each conference is well I hope. Lakers versus Clippers, Philadelphia versus Nets. So that's start on the Western Conference. This is all what everybody wanted last year. Didn't get it because of uh, their choke artist. And this, I'm just, I'm gonna say it once. I'm gonna say it again. This all depends on how well Paul George plays. But I feel like the Lakers are more experienced than any other team in the Western Conference. They just know how to win, and LeBron James and Anthony Davis versus, well, a good, we hope a good, a regular season Paul George, and a playoff Kawhi Leonard, so we're just going to depend on how well Paul George plays, this whole playoff depends, the Clippers all depending on how well Paul George plays, um, and that's why I have Lakers winning in six. Philadelphia 76ers versus Brooklyn Nets. I'm going to quickly do this. I was kidding. I was kidding. I was kidding. I was kidding. So this is going to be... So initially, I had a Philadelphia 76ers winning in the start of the season before the James Harden trade. Um, Philadelphia, the number one team. Though. This all depends on injuries for the Brooklyn Nets. All three of them missing significant amount of games. Brooklyn number two seed. Philadelphia going to get home court advantage. 
all throughout the playoffs since I have l- um, Utah eliminated and Phoenix eliminated. Um, I feel like Philadelphia are better defensively, but the Nets are one of the best offensive teams in NBA history. This is going to be feel like the closest series in the entire playoffs, much more closer than the Clippers versus Lakers series. But this might stun some people. I have Philadelphia not winning in four. I have Philadelphia in seven games. Now, the 2021, according to me, NBA Finals, the Los Angeles Lakers versus the Philadelphia 76ers. Philadelphia getting, by far, getting home court advantage. They're going to be getting game one, two, five, and seven, as the Lakers are going to get three, four, six. Um, I feel like the Lakers, they've been to the finals coming off of the reigning champions. I feel like nobody's mentioning that in this bracket prediction stuff and stuff. Um, Philadelphia 76ers have been in the playoffs. The furthest they've been in the last five years are the semifinals, losing to the, Cl- I was about to say the Clippers. They've been losing to the the Kawhi Raptors losing to the Boston Celtics, and um, that's why I'm gonna have um to win this NBA championship close. Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid versus um Anthony Davis and LeBron James. I feel like team wise, the Lakers are better. The depth is really similar. It's Kuzma and Alex Caruso, Wesley Matthews, Taylor Horton Tucker, Seth Curry. Furkan Gomez, Matisse Stiebel. This all depending on how each team's depth and starting five plays. But I have Los Angeles Lakers winning the NBA championship of 2021 in six games. That's my bracket. Take another closer look. Lakers in six in the first round against the Phoenix Suns. Denver Nuggets in seven versus the Portland Trailblazers. Los Angeles Clippers in seven versus the Dallas Mavericks. Utah Jazz in five versus the Memphis Grizzlies. Second round, Lakers um, beating the Denver Nuggets in five games. Clippers beating the Jazz in six games. Yep, and that's my prediction. I hope, like, subscribe, and hit the post notification bell. See you all in the next video. Peace. The Lakers are winning the championship. Peace.